Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode whatever of the Let's Play with me, Rez, and what the fanoo. Who's that? D uh, what guy? Thing. I got lost in the gaze of this guy. Just look into his eyes. It's so creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy. I'm noticing I'm a so many monkey. things. <laughs> I'm noticing so many things about this. It's game. like he's got one Whatever. of those giant mustaches. One of those Jock. old. One of those like old man things, Jock. and he's just looking at you now, son. <laughs> I have to tell you something very important. <laughs> I will eat nope. your soul. Don't come to the power plant. It's where Daddy works. <laughs> uh, so we are going to not be lost and get to Boomerkranger. There we go. That guy. I was completely lost. I had no idea where I was going. I lost. I got lost in the gaze of the giant Russian monkey daddy guy from the power plant. <laughs> okay, I may as well ask the obvious question here. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is a kuwanger? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh my god. And how I is remember... it booming? <laughs> I remember uh shoot, what is it? There is another guy, the monkey, the Russian monkey guy. What is he? He's a uh, mandrill. I th I thought I said the same thing. I was like, what the hell is a mandrill when I was a kid? But one day I remember we learned about it in zoo class. Oh, it's a drill that's familiar with misandry. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't uh there we go. I, I don't I don't know what these things are. I do like a lot how in Mega Man X instead of being like it's Thing Man and Thing Man, it's like Spark Mandrill and Chill Penguin. It's like oh cool, you added something besides men. You yeah, I, I still like that Mega Man fan game where all of them were based off of real professions, like Fireman and Doorman. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I, I'd have to look it up. Hang on, I've got a free hand. I can look this up. I can use the internet while you play. It's a teamwork thing. High five. Uh oh. We could Thanks. Yeah! Woo! Metaphysical high fives. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. oh, oh, it. Uh, what? But ah! Oh. Wait, did you die? I died. Oh, the one time I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, I see. You're just doing it to make fun of me. You're just trying to pick out when I fell so you can laugh at me and... Yeah, here we go. Um, we've got Anchorman, Hitman, Policeman, Repo Man, Whoa. Repair Man, Re Repo and Man's Snowman. <laughs> Is Snowman like an actual just snowman? Yes, he's actually <laughs> got the top hat, hat and the carrot and nose and he's all white. <laughs> Okay, so this is, uh, save that link, because we're going to put it in the description, and everyone is going to see this, because <laughs> it is amazing. I didn't know this thing existed, and now I want to play it. Oh, hold on, I'm not, a, I'm not sure if this is an actual game or not, because I found it on TV Tropes. Hang on. Oh, dear. That's the only copy of the picture that Google has. We might be in trouble here. It's okay. Google Images. Hey, even better, we'll make the audience work for it. What are they going to have to Google to get this? <laughs> oh, you smug little bastards. I hate that. They hit me and then they laugh at you. you son of a bitch. Get my face. Uh, uh, uh. Yay, I'm alive. And that's the silence of the great winds began. Yeah. Sorry, I had... <laughs> I got distracted. I, th I think we had a solar eclipse for a split second. That was really weird. Really? Yeah. Caught on tape, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wait, sort of. You can listen to the eclipse. You'll just have happen. to take my word for it. Uh, the magic of solar eclipses. They're a thing. Mm. <laughs> I can't think of them without thinking of... Uh, that show with the clips and the E and Oh, the I love that show heroes. with the with the one actor who who has like the thing he does. Yeah, and then they went to that place that one time with the stuff. Oh. Oh, and they Oh jeez, wasn't that that the episode where everything ended exactly the way it left off? Exactly. Oh, I I totally know what you're talking about. Adjectives the musical. <laughs> oh man. That was a thing that happened. Oh. 
Oh, uh, oh, the musical? When was that? Was that season that, uh, you know, the Oh, God, the you're confusing season? me. Fnu, you got to understand something. I'm a very gullible person. <laughs> 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 so there, for a moment there, for a fleeting moment, I believed you. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 yep. I'm so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I do the same kind of thing to, to people. Like, I, I do that all the time. I was at GDC a couple years back, you know, just to kind of get a little learning experience before I started making my own game. Uh huh. It, it's where I learned about the, the advantages and disadvantages of, like, publishing and indie developing and things like that. But I won't get into that right now. The point I'm trying to make is they had a, um, they had a demo of Minecraft there in the indie game section. This is also where I tried out Bastion for the first time. Oh, Bastion. Oh, my God, Bastion. Go on. Um, so, I, I played dumb. I wanted to enter the whole Minecraft thing with an open mindset, and there's this guy who comes up to me, and he's watching me play the game, and he's like, um, what do you think of it? No, no, I wasn't playing the game yet, and I told him, yeah, I've never played Minecraft before, and he just looks at me. Like I just said that goat, good goat souls go to the moon when they die or something. <laughs> and, and he's like, you shitting me, bro? <laughs> I love how he turns into a total dude, bro. You kidding me, bro? What's going on, bro? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yep. Go on. <laughs> So it, it was kind of a fun time, just pretending like I'm this guy who had no idea what Minecraft was about. There legitimately was a time like that. I, To be totally honest, I had just found out about it before I went to that show. I just pretended I was completely new on the subject. Yeah. No, there was a time in everyone's life that they didn't know about Minecraft. We call it the Dark Ages. Mm. Mm, indeed. <laughs> No, the the, the Dark, Dark Ages was back before we had game facts. That was I, back in the day where you had to go to grade school to figure out how to beat the Legend of Zelda. I had Nintendo Power. <laughs> ah, or that, or that. <laughs> I wasn't by any means like a rich kid, but I remember my parents were just like, "Well, you know, it's only like I don't know money amount here a month." And they're like, whatever, I guess we could get it for you. And then, like, after about a year, they're like, so when are you going to stop reading this shit? And I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. I need it. <laughs> I need this. The internet doesn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> Someday there will be a time when I don't need this anymore. But for now. <laughs> Mom, Dad, if you do this to me, if you do this to me, I swear to God, I will poop in all my diapers. <laughs> I want to hear a baby talk like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. this boss he's negotiating with his mother well you know if you give me that extra bottle I may just hold it in until dinner we can work like, out a deal here he's like in a business suit pops open a briefcase alright so last year's wages were a little low I think we can do like a 20% increase on the poop volume over the next uh, few things but the market's not looking too good so uh yeah. <laughs> That's like one of those, um, what is it, E-Trade? E oh, yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's so much fun when, like, those little tropes, like the cavemen shit. Like, yeah. It, it just, How did you feel about cool the cavemen anymore? commercials? I knew a lot of people who didn't like them. Uh, the first one was like, oh, it's, it's kind of cool. And then the rest of them were just like, oh, those are things. Yeah. Like, they, they do not affect me. I'm just like, okay, I'm out. Okay. I'm the one that kind of got under my skin was the whole pig thing, the wee. Oh, 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 wee. Yeah, wee. and that kind of became its own thing. Like at least they haven't brought that sound effect back, so I can actually like the commercials that feature the character now. Yep, he hit me. My perfect record is tarnished. I don't know what to do with myself now, Fnu. I'm just gonna go and cry. <laughs> Your Russian father comes up to you and he says, Son, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. 
You, you said you beat Megman. Yeah, you know beat Megman. Mini boss beat you. You are not my son. I disown you. Go home. No, no vodka for you today. <laughs> Suffering. That's actually a thing, believe it or not. Like my dad had this mindset. I I was I asked him because I noticed him drinking beer all the time when I was a kid. So he said, if you're curious, wet your whistle. So he actually offered me his beer, and I was like, oh, this is going to be so awesome, this is going to be cool. I took one sip of that stuff, and instantly I knew something was wrong. <laughs> it tasted it out of my mouth. awful. <laughs> it was horrible. And we'll and... continue our discussion of alcohol on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Stop.